Can you walk up to your boss today and ask for a $10,000 raise and get it? Probably not. If you can't do that, you're probably not gonna be able to afford a house in the next 12 months. I broke down the math in this video, so if you want the full rundown of the math, go check out that video. But for now, I'm gonna give you the quick and dirty breakdown of the math. If mortgage rates go up, and pretty much everyone is predicting that they will because of the end of the stimulus, then we're going to fall into this scenario. Let's just say hypothetically that mortgage rates go up to what they were back in 2018, and again, everyone's pretty much predicting that they're going to come close to what the mortgage rates were back in 2018. Back in 2018, mortgage rates were about a 4.54 interest rate. Now, what that means is if interest rates go up close to this, you're gonna have to be making an extra $10,000 every single year to afford the same amount of house as you can right now. Here is the, qu the quick breakdown. If you're gonna buy a house for $300,000 at, let's just say 2.9% interest rate. That's what you're getting right now in 2021. So if you're getting it for a 2.9 interest rate, and then, you know, if you want the full details on the breakdown, again, go check out that video. But it came out to roughly be about $3,500 every single month is what you're gonna have to be making to afford this $300,000 at a 2.9% interest rate. Now, what if it jumps up to a 4.5 interest rate? You are now going to have to make roughly $4,200 every single month to afford that same $300,000 house. Again, if you want a full breakdown, go over to that video. The link is gonna be in the description down below or it's gonna be up here in the cards as well. And that's just on a $300,000 home. That's not even the median house price in the United States right now. So more than likely, you would have to be making more than an extra $10,000 every single year. We now know that mortgage rates are a direct correlation, not the only correlation to housing prices, but they are direct correlation to housing prices. So if rates go up, prices have to come down because people cannot afford the same amount of house. Please listen to me right now because I am begging you, this is a huge indicator of a housing market crash. If you didn't know already, inflation rose to 5.3% back in August and that's just as high as what it was back in 2008-ish. And if you remember right, what happened around in 2008? We had the worst, one of the worst housing market crashes in our history. I know this video is coming out in October, but there's no data right now for the inflation rate of September as of the recording of this video. In a nutshell, if you don't know what inflation is, it's basically things are getting more expensive. So like consumer products like eggs, milk, etc., but as well as some other things. So what's in causing this inflation to rise like it was back in 2008 and why is this relevant to real estate? I'll tell you why. One of the main reasons why inflation is happening right now is because this money supply is increasing. I don't think that there's any doubt that everyone knows that the government is pumping trillions of dollars into our economy right now. This means that companies can charge more and also it's not really that they want to profit more, but sometimes it means that their materials have gone up as well because of inflation. So if the cost of packaging, if the cost of materials, if all these things are costing more money, that means that they have to charge more to meet their profit margins. And the effect is it's devaluing the value of our dollar. So let's just say, for example, you have $1 in your bank account and milk is, let's just say $2, for example. Now let's just say the next day milk is now $4. Now that your $1 in your bank account, it doesn't have the same purchase power as it did yesterday. Because of inflation, the price of the milk rose by $2 and you still only have $1. So now where your $1 could have bought 50% of that milk, now it's only buying 25% of the milk rather than the 50%. Therefore devaluing our dollar and that's just the quick breakdown of what inflation is and this is how it's actually relevant to real estate. It's relevant to real estate because mortgage rates actually don't follow too far behind the inflation inflation rate. So if inflation is going up, mortgage rates aren't that far behind it. This is an important thing to know because as we've already discussed, mortgage rates, they're a direct correlation to the housing prices. So if mortgage rates are following the inflation rate, which inflation is going up right now, mortgage rates are going to be going up. Now, prices of homes are going to have to come down because people can't afford the same rate. Now, I'm going to give you two ways that can actually stop the housing market crash. But before I do that, go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below and click that bell icon to get notified and upload a new video because these videos, they, they take me hours to create because whenever my videos are dealing with the housing market and housing market crash, it takes me hours to create this content for you because I have to dig through a bunch of data to make sure it's actually correct data, film the video, edit the video, put it up here on YouTube where you can consume it for free for probably less than 15 minutes so it would really mean a lot to me if you hit that subscribe button down below now there's two things that actually might help the housing market stay up one the housing shortage it's still upon us now according to the NAR National Association of Realtors something like 2.1 million homes need to be built every single year 
for a decade. But is this really going to keep the housing market from crashing? I don't think so. The second thing that could be holding up the housing market is another stimulus package. And the government has already came out and said that if the economy needs more stimulus, then they will provide it. But again, more stimulus equals more inflation, which, which equals increased rates, which in my opinion will be delaying the inevitable that it will burst because we can't just keep pumping money into the economy like we are right now without something happening. We're living in a crazy time right now where in the next 12 months we can experience a housing market crash or if the government decides to step in, give us more stimulus. And then if that happens, inflation rises, rates go higher, and then it's just kind of blowing the bubble up even more. If you missed the full breakdown on how mortgage rates affect the housing market, go click on this video right here and I'll see you in that video.